Day two of the EU summit begins in a couple of hours. Leaders are expected to ratify Mario Draghi as the next president of the European Central Bank. But what can we expect from the man once he takes over from Jean-Claude Trichet? Nera Cehic has been taking a look at what he'll bring to the world. Opposition to this Italian from Germany's most read newspaper turned to support, saying Mario Draghi was German enough for Chancellor Angela Merkel to back him, which she then did. He'll leave behind his job as governor of the Bank of Italy and chairman of a panel of regulators charged with global banking reform, roles in which he earned the support of business leaders. He's a man of business. He has experience in the public sector. He knows how this country needs to be run in every aspect. He also has experience in the private sector. He knows the dynamics of the financial markets. As head of Italy's finance ministry in the early 90s, Draghi pushed through $100 billion of asset sales in the midst of Italy's currency crisis, which could serve him well in facing Europe's debt problems. Prior to that, he was an economics professor and his country's representative to the World Bank. His private sector experience includes three years at Goldman Sachs in London, at one point working alongside future U.S. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson. All preparation for running the central bank of one of Europe's most indebted states, a job not everyone will say he did well. We hope Governor Draghi will do a better job in Europe than the one he has done in Italy. Here we have a bad relationship between banks and clients. There is no transparency. We have very high costs. But at the ECB, he'll have an even bigger task, managing the monetary policy of 17 countries. His colleague says he has what it takes. He will be a great ECB chairman. His main asset, the ability to keep calm under pressure. He'll have to power ahead, handling a mounting debt crisis which is threatening the currency itself. Neira Cehic, Bloomberg.